Hi guys, it's Marina from TechViews with another tutorial. Today we are going to deploy a simple MERN stack application that we have developed in my last tutorial to Heroku. And honestly, I thought this tutorial would be short, but um, yeah, there are quite some steps we have to do. And I'm also trying to explain every step. So anyway, if you like it, subscribe to my channel and let's go. Okay, so guys, I'm a bit hungry, so let's do it quickly. Why I'm always hungry when I'm recording tutorials? Let's go to my YouTube channel, your channel, to the latest video where we have built a simple full stack uh, Marn application. And here we have a link to my GitHub repository. So I will just download the zip code here and um, let's unzip it. Okay, done. Now let's open this folder in our Visual Studio code. Open folder, download, Cradmarn app, open. Okay, now we have this application opened and for the simplicity I will create here an instructions.txt file where I will paste all the steps we have to do to deploy to Heroku. Okay, so let's start from step number one. Install .env and path packages. Okay, um, but uh, before we start to deploy, let me check that the application is working. Let's start this application from our local host, okay? For this, in our root folder, I'm going to install npm install all the dependencies, all the packages. And then we cd into client folder and npm install. So basically we install also the dependencies for our client. And it will take a while. Okay, done. So now let's um, cd out of our client folder and uh, start our server. Server.js. In another terminal I'm going to cd into client and run npm start to start our React application. Now we will just check that it's working OK and then we will start to deploy. I will click inspect here because I remember it was very ugly. <laughs> we were doing it for the smaller uh, screen size now. OK, we have a home page. We use the navigation here. New post, new description, create a post. OK, update, uh, save changes, new description updated, updated, and we can also delete, right? Yes, so everything is working OK. I will close the application and return to the Visual Studio code where I'm going to stop all the processes, uh, Ctrl C on Mac, and uh, I will also delete all the terminals. So now we uh, need to, uh, in order to deploy, the first step is to install the .env and path packages. So let's open our terminal again and uh, install these packages in the root folder. npm, oops, sorry, npm install .env and path. Then we need to require .env config and path in our server.js file. So here I will say require uh, .env .config is written like this and we will also require our path that will be just uh, require path okay this one is done now the next instruction is to create a .env file and for this in the root folder we just type touch .env and in this .env file, we have to specify our MongoDB Atlas URI. So as you can see in the server.js file, we are connected to the local uh, MongoDB, but we need to connect to MongoDB Atlas. So I'm going to go to my MongoDB Atlas account. And here we go. Here I can click connect, connect your application, copy this URI here and in our .env file we are going to create a mongo-lo-uri key and just paste what we copied here. 
without any uh, spaces or anything. Just instead of the password here, you will have to insert the database password from MongoDB Atlas that you can find here in the section database access. And then if you click edit, you can see the password here. If you click edit password, it will be shown. I will not show you my password. <laughs> now I'm going to paste my password here. Okay, I have pasted the uh, Mongo URI in the .env file. Now we need to uh, change our local DB Mongo URI to the MongoDB Atlas. This we can just specif specify like process.env.mongo.uri exactly how we called it in our .env file. And uh, without the uh, anything, I don't know how you call this sign. Okay, so it's done. If we return to our instructions, we need now to add .env file to git ignore. So, okay, .env, simply like this. And then connect MongoDB Atlas. We have already done that. Now let's remove the Git repository, of the Git from our client folder. Yeah, because it can cause some issues sometimes. I will just type clear here for you to see better. And we are going to cd into client and type this command rm-rf.git to remove all the Git from this folder. Now let's check the Git status and it says it's not a Git repository. Good. And if we cd out to the root folder, it will also be, it will also not be a git repository. So we need to git init here. And that's it. Then what we have to do? Write script in the server.js file. Yes. Let's take a look in, uh, at our server.js file. First of all, I can see that we have this um, uh, route here that we'll need to remove. And uh, also, we are listening on port 3001, but we need to specify the dynamic port like this. If we are depending on the environment where application is uh, hosted. Now, above this method, we will uh, write this um, script that if we are in the production environment, then we would like the Express to use the static client files and we need to send the main index.html file, okay? So let's write if the process.env.node.env is uh, production, then we would like to app.use the express.static uh, files that will be located in the client folder slash build folder and then we would like also to write a general route uh, that will be applicable to any URL and the usual callback function of request and response where we will send that index.html file so res.send file that is located and here we will use the path.resolve method to help us so here we, here we need to specify the location of our index.html file and that is our current directory. So uh, double low dash dear name. Then we go to the client folder. Then we go to the build folder. And finally, we specify the index.html file. Okay, everything looks good. Let's go back to our instructions. And now we need to write a small script in the server package.json file. Let's go in our package.json file and add a Heroku post build script. I don't, let me remember how it goes, something like if the NP, npm, no, if the node config, no, config production, we set to false. Node config or npm config? Let me check. Yes, it should be npm config production set to false. Then we run the command npm install with a prefix client. And after that, we run the npm run build also with prefix client. Okay, this is the script we need. Now, what we can do is we go back to our instructions and we create a proc file. So let's open our terminal and uh, in the root folder we just create the proc file 
with a capital P. And in this file, we specify the web colon node server.js, something like this. Okay, now this step is done. We need to log into Heroku. From our terminal, provided that you have the Heroku CLI installed, you can just type Heroku login. Confirm. Login. Okay. So this we have done and we need to create the Heroku application. This is also simply Heroku create. Create. And uh, ta-da! We have the address for our new proxy. Let's copy this uh, URL here and change proxy address in client package.json file. So we go to our client folder to package.json and instead of localhost we paste our proxy, our new proxy address. Okay. Build client static files. Let's do that. For this we just cd into client and run the command npm run build. It will take a while. Okay, it's done. Now what we have to do is commit all the code. So uh, let's cd out to the root folder, check our git status and uh, let's git add space dot to add all the files to the staging area and then we git commit with a message first commit. Okay, and now what we have to do is to add Heroku remote. Yeah, we need to add Heroku remote. For this I suggest we go to our Heroku application that we have just created. It will be listed in the personal in the main page. So it's called Cryptic Island and if you go to the deploy tab you can see this uh, line here Heroku git remote and then the name of the application. So oops, let's just paste it in our terminal and set our remote Heroku uh, location. Now we need just to push to Heroku. First let's check again our status of our git files. Working tree is clean, we can git push heroku master and wait a few minutes. Uh, while it's building a production build, I suggest we copy our mongo URI from our mongo or from our .env file. I'm gonna do it now. Okay, I copied it and uh, in our application in, on Heroku website, we go to the settings, uh, click reveal config bars, specify the name of our environmental variable, Mongo URI, so that Heroku knows how to connect to the database and click add. Okay, it's done. Basically, we have done all the steps. Now let's just wait a bit more for the hopefully successful build. Okay. Build succeeded. Let's just check here if we open the application. I hope it will be working. <sighs> Let me check what we have done wrong. I can see that we have a typo here. <laughs> that we have a typo here. Okay, let's try again. But for this we need again to git add, git commit, and git push Heroku master. Okay, another build succeeded. Let's check that our application is working. Open app, application error, fine. Uh, let's try to check again. Let's check our Heroku logs. H10 Heroku H10 error. You will also see some debugging here. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, uh, okay, let's try to check our package.json file and um, add this line under the version. But let me check first our node version. 14.9.0. So let's specify 14.9.0. Save. OK. Let's try again. Git status modified. Git add. Git commit. Uh, added node engine and git push uh, okay let's check again the status working tree clean okay git push heroku master okay build succeeded <laughs> let's try again please god help me open up React app, okay, it's launching. Let's uh, try to uh, try out the functionality. We have new post, new description, create a post, okay, delete, is deleting, updated to, save changes. Okay, everything's working. Thank you for watching. I'm going to go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go have dinner. <laughs>